Urinary incontinence is a medical term that describes the uncontrollable leakage of urine. There are different types of urinary incontinence. There's stress incontinence, urge incontinence, and overflow incontinence, and then there's a combination of the above. Stress incontinence is leakage with coughing, sneezing, exercise. Urge incontinence is that uncontrollable urge when you say, ooh, I gotta go to the bathroom, and urine just starts to slip out and leak before you get there. Overflow incontinence is more common in men where the bladder doesn't empty and the bladder gets so full that it can't get any fuller and as a result, the bladder leaks on its own. So it's called overflow incontinence. And then there's what we call mixed incontinence that can be a combination of any one of the above. Stress incontinence is much more common after vaginal deliveries. Yes, we see stress incontinence in women that have never been pregnant, and we see stress incontinence in women that have delivered via C-section, but it's much more common after those vaginal deliveries. The University of Iowa did an interesting study of college athletes. The students were ages 18 to 22, and to be in the study, you could not have been pregnant. So again, female athletes ages 18 to 22 never been pregnant. Up to a third of students leaked urine during their sport. I find that very interesting. So stress incontinence doesn't necessarily have to be associated with a prior pregnancy or a prior vaginal delivery. We think that some women are just prone to having incontinence. Again, it's much more common after having had children, but some women just leak urine. Treatments for stress incontinence are varied. Stress incontinence is treated either with conservative management or surgical options. We don't really have medications to treat stress incontinence. Medications are wonderful for overactive bladder or urge incontinence, but medications don't really help stress incontinence. First of all, you can try Kegel exercises. That's pelvic floor strengthening. You can do these exercises at home or we can send you to a pelvic floor physical therapist to actually work on strengthening the pelvic floor. But when those exercises fail, then it's time for surgery. Now, don't be afraid of surgery. We have some wonderful, conservative, very minimally invasive surgical options. There are two very minimally invasive surgical options. One is a calcium injection. It's outpatient surgery. It takes about five minutes, and if this is the urethra, I inject into the urethra a little bit of calcium just to bulk that area up. Again, it's an outpatient surgery that takes about five minutes. The second surgery is what we call a sling surgery. This is an example of a sling, and if this is the urethra, I wrap this sling around the outside of the urethra just to tighten that area. It's one tiny little incision. If this is a 10 minute little outpatient surgery and slings are very successful. They last forever in 95% of patients. So there are some very minimally invasive surgical options.